Well, hi. Thought I would just share some of my own experience of these two paintings that I've done recently on the Mulhadara Chakra. It was interesting to meditate on the Mulhadara Chakra and see what was presenting itself at the time I wanted to paint because I'm sure if I did it next week, next month, it might be different what presented itself. What I was really struck with, with this first painting that I did, which was kind of formal, I meditated and I went about the process. I used uh, some enamels, oils and some textured uh, plaster. But what was most important to me was what was coming up uh, at the time. And I was really struck by the Mulhadara representing the, the unconscious, the spiritual cellar, um, the, the roots that are down in the earth that actually feed everything that goes up, whatever it is, a tree, a plant. The roots aren't often given much uh, credit or notice but it's obviously the roots that are taking all the nutrients to allow um, the tree, for instance, to grow. So I was really struck by being in soil, being in the earth, and the Mulhadara does um, relate to the um, element of earth. And I liked this idea of being in the earth, deep down in the earth, in the unconscious. And the all the symbolism that goes with the Mulhadara chakra, so the Mulha meaning root, origin or essence, and the Dara meaning the basis or foundation. And I like the idea of, even though we're in this cellar, where the karma is still unconscious, there is innocence, there is wisdom, there is this inner light, this wonderful pool, of, as one of my friends called it when she saw the painting, Pool of Infinity, which it is. The snake is coiled around the pearl of wisdom, that infinite knowledge that we have, that's followed us through our lifetimes, our experiences, that records our happiness, our pain, our sorrow, our joy, our love. And the ladder represents the shishumna and obviously the energy that goes around, that coils around the shishumna, the ida and pingala, as it moves up to the next chakra. And in the background, in the soil, as I see the soil, in the soil you have um, all different shapes that will only speak to your unconscious when you see them that which sits in our unconscious, that which sits symbolically and reminds us of our lessons learnt and the lessons still to be learnt. And the journey of the ladder that opens the invitation to awaken, awaken the self, awaken the spiritual self, to face the self and to start the ascension to self-enlightenment through the stages of the chakras and the wisdom and knowledge that each one brings. In this second representation I did, the painting, uh, I actually like to paint with my eyes closed when I'm really accessing the unconscious. And I did this for the first part of this painting put the background down and then I just shut my eyes and put some lines and shapes in and turn the board around so I don't know which is upside down, right, left, whatever. But what I really enjoyed about this painting was this, almost for me it feels like breaking out, it feels like the Kundalini serpent is actually starting to move, it's got a look on its face, it's it's breaking free, it's moving, it's, it's jumping over for me, this is what I see, it's jumping over hurdles, it's the, the, the pearl of wisdom is still there, but it's kind of in the air, it's floating. Uh, the serpent is kind of 
is 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 moving forward it's it's there's there's a there is an awakening there's a there's a knowledge there's a an excitement about being free and moving the blue lines for me around the border represents a, a breaking down of structure now that can be karmic structure limitations we put on ourselves boundaries we put on ourselves is a breaking free breaking out it's a um a, a real kind of under sudden understanding and upwelling of energy as everything changes and still in the soil you can see shapes and uh, symbolic representations of what may have been haunting us or celebrating us or moving on however there's a real movement for me of freedom movement understanding enlightenment realizing here is some video i took of this painting so i thought it would be interesting just to do a a little clip of videoing the painting to show the reflective services a bit of a close-up that representation of the Ida and Pingala in this particular painting and some of the colours and again what what is still in the soil what is looking out and the little happy serpent on its exciting journey onwards and upwards so I hope you've enjoyed the video my representation at this time and like I say, who knows, if I did them both again next week, they would probably be, well, they definitely would be completely different. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great, great day.